My name is Chance Boykins, and I've been with Computer Mentors Group for three years. Alright, I'm here with Jeff, a current student at USF. I'm here to ask him a few questions. So Jeff, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to going to USF. How much does it cost? Uh, tuition tends to be around, I think it's $4,000 a year. Uh, if you're living on campus in a dormitory or off campus in the apartments, it varies a lot on how much uh, housing costs. But it tends to be about four hundred dollars a month for like uh, living expenses, and then books are about four hundred dollars a year, so about two hundred a semester. Okay, so how's how's it really like at USF? It's a lot of fun. I mean, like uh, with football or with USF's good football season, we've been everyone goes to the games and it's fun times. And the classes, you get a lot of good professors and you know, very interesting. So, how did you get there? Uh, I went to Chamberlain High School, so it was pretty close, and I knew some friends who were graduates from Chamberlain who went to USF, and I just decided to go there because I knew it was a good school and they had good psychology and biology programs. So who influenced you to go to college? Probably my dad. Uh, he actually taught at USF when I was younger, so he was a major influence. What, what did you study at USF? Uh, I've actually changed my major three times. I originally entered USF as a, a pre-med student, but also majoring in physics. And now, then I or then I switched to <laughs> geography, physics, and psychology. But I'm currently majored in uh, microbiology and psychology. So are you in any clubs or activities around school? Uh, not at the moment. I'm trying to get into the Psychology Honors Society. And then I may pledge a frat. What will you do after the, after you get a degree? That I'm not really sure. I'm thinking about going to graduate school either at USF or maybe the University of Wisconsin, which has one of the top graduate schools for psychology, to uh, major in neuroscience psychology. Or uh, with microbiology, I may do research on cancer or become a doctor. So how much money will you be making after college? After college, um, right afterwards, it will probably be like around thirty to forty thousand a year, which is an undergraduate degree. But after graduate school, if I end up going with psychology and neuroscience, then I believe it's around eighty-four thousand. It's pretty close to starting pay. And with microbiology, it depends if I do research or if I become a doctor or what exactly I'm doing with it. If I do research for something like cancer. Uh, or something that has a lot of grants, it can end up being a lot more money, probably up to the eighty thousand range. Uh, if it's more smaller scale study, it'll probably be around forty to fifty thousand. And if it's a doctor, it'll probably be like three hundred thousand. Okay. That sounds complicated. Do I have to be smart to go to college? It's not as complicated as it sounds. Something you kind of like jump into, and it's kind of like just jumping into a cold pool, but it's not really as cold as you think it is. And when you jump in, it just takes a little bit to acclimate to it, but then soon it's just like women it's no big deal at all. It's not as hard as it seems. Is college like high school? And the aspects of the school it is, but that's as, as about as far as it goes. Classes, I'm normally in classes about on the other class Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And I'm only in class for like a couple hours a week. But for every hour that I'm in class I spend about two to three hours studying. So in college I'm gonna go to school three days a week instead of five. It's actually up to you because you set the schedule. So if you're a morning person, you can take classes at 7.30 bright and early. If you're a night person, you can take classes from 8 to 10 at night. You can pick what days you go, what times you go. Uh, you, some people go Monday through Friday for a couple hours each day. I thought that was kind of a waste of time, so I just go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm there for until about noon, Monday and Wednesday, and Friday I'm only there until 9 in the morning. So do you spend those extra two days studying? Uh, rarely, most of the time it's sleeping. I kind of work on a 24 hour stay awake and like 16 hour sleep schedule. Are you working full time? Going to school full time? I'm only working part time, but I'm also going, I am going to school full time. I'm working here at CMG part time. Um, do you have concerts in this? Yeah, that's what the Sun Dome is for. That's our huge basketball arena. We have all sorts of things in there. They've had everything from WrestleMania to stand-up comics to, I think there was, during the summer, they had like uh, Avenged Sevenfold and bands like that in there. What else is cool about college that I did get in high school? 
Uh, research is a big field that you can take part in and it really helps with graduate, but I mean, with high school you're learning with stuff and that's as far as it goes. With college you're learning and you can also work on changing the field and evolving it. So what made you want to go to USF? I decided to go to USF because I had friends who were going there and I had friends who were already there. USF was close to home and it's cheaper, so that's why I went to USF. Is college fun compared to high school? I think so. With high school, you're more you have a more set schedule of what you're taking. Now I'm only taking. I just finished all the general ed courses, so this semester I'm taking what I wanted. So what kind of technology do you have in USF? It's one of the uh, high tech schools of the state as well as the nation. It's a big research institute, so we have a lot of like heavy duty research stuff. Like we have electron microscopes, we have uh, an observatory. We've got a lot of fun technology. So I heard there's a lot of free stuff at USF. Did you elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, at Cooper Hall, pretty much there's always people giving away different things like trials, uh, free pizza, depending on what's going on. And then pretty much every club to get you to go there, it's like they offer free pizza, free drinks. For homecoming, you get free shirts. I mean, a lot of free stuff. I have been to USF. It's pretty good. We're surrounded by it. We've got like chilies. You have yeah, everything chilies, right around campus, watch. so you don't need to eat there. Chili's first watch, Hooters, Chipotle's, uh, um, yeah. Burger King, Pizza Hut, uh, Papa John, Subway, uh, uh, Palm Guys. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you.